So over on Twitch, of course we've been doing the Ben and Ed save. I uh, just finished season two. I uh, just thought I'd do another video. And the first one was pretty well received, just just on recapping what happened in last season. First season, of course, they had the shocker in getting the just throwing the promotion stage. This season, we needed to take that step up, and well, things certainly happened. Let's head into it. Welcome back to the Henry FM underscore YouTube channel. It's me, um, obviously. And yeah, we're here with Spedenza Save. Uh, by the way, if you haven't already, down there, Twitch. I'm actually going to be live quite a bit this week. This is me hoping the video comes out on time. Whether it does or doesn't is up to me, I'm assuming. So, yeah, um, let's show what happened in the league. Um, the, the first stage was quite something. We got drawn against some teams we played before um, in Sintlense and Fontinas. I looked at this first stage and thought we we're going to breeze through it again. Uh, I didn't expect 14 from 14. A goal difference of 44. We considered seven goals in the entire first half of the season. It was incredible. The problem was going into the second stage where things looked like they on one paper a little bit trickier even than last year um so yeah as you can see sporting's b team got relegated to uh, the fourth tier at the start of the season they were one to 91 to go back up that got down to like one to ten full start of the season we were like second or third um but we this this time this time we finally managed to continue the form um pretty well as well i mean we lost one game i believe that was one of the last games arts we'd already sealed it getting getting promoted um th that 31 goals for and six goals against is quite something but 33 points from 14 games and i mean it all started very well as you can see down the bottom there the four nil win against the sporting's b team however not only did we get promoted we we did a little we did something else as well I'll show you that right now. Yeah, um, the the Taça de Portugal. We somehow made it to a final. Uh, I mean, we'll ignore the fact that in the final we we came up against Porto, who smashed us. But saying that, we we did play the Super Cup. I don't know why we were in the Super Cup because we didn't win the competition. I guess it's because Porto won the double. They put us in. Um, we did play the Super Cup against them last stream and only lost one nil. So we've we've made progress. But yeah, I'll, let's let's run through what happened in this uh, in this cup run. As you can see, um, it started off very sketchy against a non-league side. We only got through two nil in extra time. We really did scrape through, and they had ten men after sixty-one minutes. Which wasn't ideal. Uh, we then went to play Gilles Vicente, who, as far as I remember, I believe they're in the second tier. Um, pretty unbelievable result, 3-0. That's when I thought, okay, we're actually way too good to be where we are. You're doing a journey, man. Lovely. Where are you started? Oh, my God, we're winning! We're winning! Cheers! I can't afford to buy more storage because I'm poor as fuck. Go on, Paris. To so make it two. Oh, my God! We good. This is amazing. Suarez. Oh my god. Ref. Marrera. Shichenje. Oh, what a ball. Oh my god, it's three. It's three. It's bloody three nil. We have to get promoted, maybe even back to back. Uh then Lawyers 4-2. Believe they're in the same tier as us. We then have back-to-back -back games against first division opposition. First we went, we played at home against Tondela. We won 3-0. And it wasn't even like it was lucky. We deserve to win 3-0. To Glasser. Glasser! Oh! Oh, yes! That is a weldy. Pereira. Silva. Collins again. Paris. It's... Sorry I'm this good. Which was incredible. We then drew another first-tier side in Estoril. Uh, we do them in the quarter-final. Took them to penalties. It was it was a pretty pretty interesting game. A bear truck. Was it a truck of bears then? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I'm on Vieira. Save this. Oh. Oh, yeah. Come on. Um, I mean, I'm probably sprinkling highlights here and there of some interesting moments, but they equalised in the 81st minute. But we did take the penalties and got ourselves a semi-final spot against Vizela, who were also in the second tier. Uh, 0-0 at home, I thought, oh, this is going to go badly. And away from home, they took the lead. Ivo Lucas, one of the many new transfers we made, came off the bench to pass through on away goals. <laughs> Silver, oh my God. Yes! Oh, you're all giving it this. Oh, you're bad, you're bad. No! 1-0. Wait. Hey, it was away goals. Come on. It was away goals. Oh, I didn't realise there were away goals. Where we then, we, we don't talk about Porto. Runners up in the fourth tier. It, it was just, it was absurd. It was absurd. Um, and speaking of transfers, we can we'll run through some of the some of the more important ones right now. Um, I should probably quickly mention just before we go through the transfers of people we bought in. Uh, Collins, yeah, his his release clause got activated. Vittoria bought him. We have got him on loan. We did have a loan for the season, and we've got him on loan for next season as well. I couldn't not do it. The man is a hero in my eyes. I've, I found this man, plucked him out of, of African football. And I mean, he is developing. He's already got five caps for Kenya. Just, I feel like just the fact that he's Kenyan, a Kenyan international might be the what makes it for me. Uh, but yes, the transfers. Now starting off, one of, the, one of the ones I was really excited about, Miguel Tavares, Cape Verdean, on a free. Looks like a very good player, doesn't he? On the left, could be an inverted winger. Um, we did we did run into a slight issue though. Yeah, that yeah, damaged cruciate ligaments. Not not injury prone. But the third time he's done his cruciate ligaments, and yeah, seven months out before I even played a proper game with him. Probably one of the best signings I've made in this save so far. Jao Grasa on a free came from Rio Ave, who I who were in the top tier. And the, the fact that he's only a leading player for this for the division we've just been promoted from is a lie. Um, as you can see from his stats, 17 assists in 26 starts. Absurd. He's got the holy trinity in my eyes for a playmaker. First touch, passing technique, 14, 15, 15. And he can see, which does help. But yeah, an unbelievable signing. Just one of the staples of our team this season. Um, another one that I don't know how I managed to pull off, Miguel Bandada. Another free signing. Um, maybe not the quickest, but by God, he's just so well-rounded. And again, you see, 15 assists, but nine goals from right back. He's not even playing high up the pitch. He's just a right back. Nine goals and 15 assists. Just quite special, quite a special player. And as you can see, 40, he's a good, he's a good on the free kicks. A lot of his goals do come from free kicks and there were some very, very nice ones indeed. The first time we actually paid money for someone, Paris. Now you look at his attributes and you think, okay, he's just tall and he can run. Yes, that, that's why I bought him. He, he's not, his finishing isn't great. His composure isn't great. But when you're in that sort of tier of football, it, you don't need someone who can finish every single chance they get given. And the way the tactic works is, they're going to get hand fed the best chances. And as you can see, 23 goals and 26. Not, that's not him massively outscoring his XG. As you can see, 22 XG. He was just lethal. Absolutely lethal. And for 2.5k, a steal. Um, the other side at fullback, Amin Silver came in. 23. So a man who's got potential for the future. Yes, Portuguese, but. Came through at Monaco, so doesn't count as homegrown frustratingly. Well, homegrown in nation, which is the problem. Uh, but maybe not the had the most amazing of seasons, but still very, very good. And as you can see, a player for the second tier. We, we've got players in this team who are second tier. Stand. I mean, when I was doing transfers in my last stream, I was struggling to find players to improve this team because some of the players are just too good. 
it's it's ridiculous how good some of these players are for us but yeah another free signing in the bag um the last one i'm going to look at an interesting player someone i thought maybe could have done more but still another free basco Gadelho, homegrown a nation solid another player that probably can end up playing for us in the third tier because we just can't really seem to find anyone but yeah it just aren't some unbelievable players um whilst we're going through players i'll just we'll just scour through some of the talented youth we've got in and some new intake as well uh, we found another one to get goalie through our through our youth intake giovanni marinero we, we just we just have an abundance of goalies we've got Bayer, fialho and now marinero um it's just it, it's quite amazing the stand of youth that comes through here um backing it up is carlos campos i mean yes his personality poor his consistency poor but there's money to be made in these players that's that's the thing if we develop them if they get to sort of second tier standard and we don't want them offload them money easy simple simple as i can't remember if george fridge came through the youth intake this year not sure um 19 aggression no, he's not fantastic but he's very aggressive and he's got the potential so we will see and i mean whilst we're here looking at the wonder kids um we'll have another look at Zhao. probably gonna be our backup for the moment i am tempted to loan him out but i feel like he probably wouldn't get much quality for well quality training and he is developing i mean you look you look at his ability it's it's going up um thanks Kempster, for i don't know how to put steam offline whoops uh but yeah his ability is just getting better and better he will be a world class player for us i know it and um, finances we, we still hemorrhage money uh of course the board gave us something to stay afloat we then lost all of it they gave us a little bit uh just towards the end of the season and then they've just uh come in and gone yeah here's his here's another million just just to keep the club afloat you you know we know where it all goes it all goes to you set up one million a year spent on you set up yeah staff wages pay wages that's high but if it wasn't if we don't spend a million a year on youth setups we wouldn't have to worry about this money but when you've got the players that have our cal of this caliber coming through i can't really complain especially if the board are pretty much covering it anyway um just sort of I feel like we've I feel like we've, ad we've addressed everything if there are any I mean, if you want to see other things drop down into the into the stream when i'm live uh feel free to ask me about anything you want to see i'd be more than happy to show you this is the club vision now it what confuses me is for the for the thirds here they want us to reach the promotion stage in our first season um which i i'm very confident of um, a little spoiler our first season we're predicted to be well with the third or fourth best team in the league mm. um but just going on for that first season they then want us to attempt to remain in the third tier so they want us to go from being fighting for promotion and then to remaining i feel like they think we're going backwards i don't know but essentially there's no long-term goal of being promoted so i feel like this one should be pretty easy develop the best use system in the country we're not going to do that but that's purely because we don't have the money which is hence the importance of i want really would love to go up to the second tier first time of asking preferably in the, by season five or season six be either in the top flight or very much fighting to be in the top flight because even if we have one year in the top flight and go down it's the experience just helps things out get some money and i don't know what portuguese if, if there's any anyone who knows more about portuguese leagues than me feel free to drop in the comments of what the money's like i feel like we're gonna have to be reliant on champions league football when we get there i feel like we're, we're a long way away from that but yeah it's it's gonna be interesting that is that and again just a short update video i don't want to be going on for hours and hours about about the save and all that stuff uh, it's mainly just sort of a little recap for those that can't always jump in and watch the stream just sort of end of season recaps and stuff and um, but yeah if you do want to watch the save unfold live the twitch link will be there um if you've enjoyed the video 
give it a thumbs up uh comment some comment good job so far just comment that um and give it a sub all these things help boost the algorithm and that's important on youtube i mean hopefully we'll be getting to 100 subs soon which is kind of cool considering that i very much this is very much not my priority i feel like i'm a poor i put more effort on twitch uh, which is why you should go and uh, sub to the twitch and but yeah if you do enjoy these good that's why i make them uh hopefully we'll have an arsenal video out in the near future uh, i've got some other ideas i'm thinking of it, it's basically it's time time constraints as well and everything but yeah i should start waffling and uh wave goodbye uh, and either edit this video on time and be a good youtuber or go and play valorant and i think it could be the latter but anyway i hope you stay safe and all that stuff um this is a really bad outro so i'm going to quickly press stop recording bye <laughs>